I just really remember drinking and kind of clowning around with everybody. What was supposed to be a night of fun with family, ending with gunfire. I got hit by a bullet in my head. It's a phone call Mariama Wilson will not forget. I just heard her screaming, you know, Vicky's been shot, get over here quick. If Wilson looks familiar, it's because she's the face of Mask in Town, Mothers Against Senseless Killings, the violence she advocates to end up ending her son's life with the pull of a trigger in a drive-by shooting last August. 732 Wall Street is where Wilson would find her son. He was unconscious, shot once in the head. I just yelled out to him that I was here. Um, hold on, I'm, I'm praying, and I just kind of just went down to the ground and just started praying. At the hospital, Petrie was rushed into surgery as doctors worked to save his life. The first surgery, a success, but during a second operation, doctors had bad news. That he wasn't going to make it through the night. He, his brain started swelling. God got him through that one. Against the odds, and weeks after being shot, Petrie woke up. I guess like a whole month or two it went by that I really just don't really remember at all. Surviving a shot to the head is a miracle, but recovering from one takes determination. For a while, I couldn't walk or do anything. I can finally walk now, but my arm's still messed up. I really don't got too much motion in it. Twice a week, it's physical therapy at Ascension St. Vincent in Evansville. He's had to relearn everything from talking to walking, and it's baby steps for Petrie, who has two children he's not able to love on. He says that's been the hardest part about all of this. Remarkably, he doesn't harbor ill will against who shot him, instead forgiveness, lessons he learned from mom. Sometimes he checks me, uh, especially dealing with the young man that did this. I'm just going to pray for him. I need to pray for him. Faith over fear and forward motion. I really try not to really think about it too much, for real, for real. I just got to get better now. Petrie is getting better, stronger every day, and you wouldn't know it, but that bullet, it is still lodged in his brain. Too dangerous to remove. Doctors say the fact it did not exit is quite possibly the reason he's still alive. God has a plan. We don't understand it at the time. I you know, I don't know what that plan is for him and why he's still alive because a lot of kids that have been shot just this last year didn't make it, and he did. Petrie was not the intended target of this shooting. This all happened over a video on Facebook Live. Evansville police have never made any arrests. If you would like to support Petrie and his recovery, you can find more information on our website, wevv.com.